In this video, we're going to do some QuickWorks examples of using Pythagoras' theorem to find a missing length in a right angle triangle. Let's start off with a right angle triangle. We have one shorter side here, another shorter side here, and then we have the longer side, which is called the hypotenuse. I'm going to label these up. One of the shorter sides will be A, the other shorter side will be B, and the hypotenuse will be C. The hypotenuse, which is the longer side, is always opposite the right angle. Pythagoras' theorem states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So if I take one of the shorter sides and square it, then take the other shorter side and square it, when we add those two together, it's equal to the hypotenuse squared. Let's look at a nice straightforward example, and we call this a special one as it's a triple. So what we're going to have then is the following. We're going to have this length right now, that's going to be 4 centimetres. This one is going to be 3 centimetres, and we want to find the hypotenuse. We'll call the hypotenuse C. You'll sometimes be expected to find one of the shorter sides given the hypotenuse. In this case, though, we simply want to find C. So, if we say that this one is A, 3 squared plus now B squared, which will be 4 squared, will be equal to C squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and that's going to be equal to C squared. Add in the 2, 25 is equal to c squared. We now need to take the square root. The square root of 25 is plus or minus 5. As this is a length, we take the plus. So we end up now with c is 5. So we can see that the length of c is going to be 5 centimetres. And we found the missing length in a right angle triangle. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. It doesn't matter if you call this one b and this one a. We simply have the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides is equal now to the square of the longer side. Let's look at another example. So in that particular case, we were finding the hypotenuse. That won't always be the case. We might end up having to find one of the shorter sides. So let's say now that the hypotenuse is 10 centimetres. Let's say one of the shorter sides is 8 centimetres and we want to find this length, and we'll call this length here a. So what we have then is a squared plus b squared. Well, b squared is 8 squared, and that's equal now to c squared, which is 10 squared. So I can now write that a squared would be equal to 10 squared, and then I'm going to subtract the 8 squared from both sides. You can, of course, just jump to this part straight away. If you don't want to sub it into Pythagoras' theorem like so, you can just say, I know that 10 squared minus 8 squared has got to be equal to a squared. So what we have, a squared is equal to 100 minus 64. So a squared will be equal to 36. And all we need to do is take the square root of both sides. So a will be 6. So we've now gone ahead and found that one. And this length right here is going to be 6 centimetres. These are special triangles, they're called Pythagorean triples, as they give us whole numbers. So these are all integer values. It won't always be the case, and we might have something that's a bit messier. All we'll do is use a calculator for those examples. So these are examples that you might see on a non-calculator paper. Let's do another one. Let's, uh, let's find a missing length. So let's say that this was, this time, let's say that this is 4 centimetres. This might be 4 metres, it might be 4 kilometres. I'm just using centimetres as we're fairly used to doing that. Let's take 7 centimetres. Here is the right angle and we want to find the length C. So we're finding the hypotenuse. So what we'll have is A squared, which is 4 squared, plus B squared, which is 7 squared, is equal to C squared. 16 plus 49 is equal to c squared. Add in the 2, 65 is equal to c squared. We're going to use a calculator to take the square root of 65, and that will give us the value. So when we do that, we're going to have now the root of 65. If I round this to one decimal place, we'll have 8.1. So we can say now that 8.1 is equal to c. So this now here, and I'll just write this in, this is going to be 8.1 centimetres, and that now is to one decimal place. In a question, you'll be given a level of accuracy. Now, it might be two decimal places, it might be two significant figures. Let's just look. 
this is four centimeters, this is seven centimeters, this has to be longer. So if that come up to be six centimeters, we know that we've made a mistake. The two shorter sides, then the longer side. Okay, let's do another one. What we're gonna do this time is find one of the shorter sides. So let's say that this is going to be nine centimeters. This one is going to be, let's say that this is going to be, uh, let's go for eight centimeters and we want to find this length right here. I'm going to call this one now x. So what we could do here is say that x squared plus eight squared is equal to nine squared. Or if you'd like, you can just say x squared will be equal to nine squared minus eight squared. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we'll have now is x squared will be equal to nine squared is 81 minus six squared, which is going to be 64, uh, sorry, eight squared, which is going to be 64. So we've got x squared is going to be equal to, if I subtract these away, I'm going to end up now with 17. So we've got now 17. All I need to do at this stage is take the square root of 17, which is going to be a bit over four. Let's do, have a look at that. Square root of 17, and we end up now with 4.1. So we've got now 4.1, and again, that's to one decimal place. So this length right here, it's not massively accurate in the way that I've drawn it, but this will be 4.1 centimeters. And again, that's to one decimal place. So that is the length here. Remember, these two have to be shorter than this one. So all I've done is said nine squared minus eight squared will be equal to x squared, and then we've taken the square root. So some quick worked examples of using Pythagoras theorem to find a missing length in a right angle triangle.